is exactly what it does when you get it in place. One of the things I figured out running a real estate team for as long as I have, most people don't do enough follow-up. If you stay in relationship with people, the phone starts ringing and people are bringing that business back. So we've created an automated reminder system to make personal touches. You've already done the all email drip campaigns. You've done postcard campaigns. It's a very low rate of return. What this is actually doing is bringing the personal touch back to the process to stay in touch with your database, your clients, your contacts on a more consistent, persistent basis. In that follow-up system is still the automated stuff like a letter or an email or whatever to stay in touch with people and keep my brand in front of them. What's different about this course and why it's called Make the Phone Ring Again, it's because those personal touches, the, the phone calls, the handwritten notes, the pop buys their office, that's where the business starts doubling, tripling, quadrupling because you're just staying in front of people more often. I've worked with other systems in the past and I see that the automated tasks are really going to help simplify the day to day and focus the energy of the agents to help create lasting relationships. I see this helping us stay connected to our clients, both um, past and in the future. There's a lot of steps in real estate and selling, so the system that Brad has shown us uh, is going to help us make sure that we cover every aspect of the sale. So some real world results that we're seeing come out of this process, just by picking up the phone and being on purpose about calling a certain amount of people every day has generated as much as $50,000 to the bottom line after expenses in just six months. It's just exciting to watch when people really get that the personal touch really does make that much of a difference. If you would like to make more money and you don't want to work any harder and you'd like people to really come to you that are ready to do something now, this is the plan for you because it will make the phone ring again. What comes to mind is, what do I do with all these people I meet? How do I effectively build my database to make the phone ring again? So to help me with this, I asked one of our coaches, to come and talk with me, who I call him the king of the database because he lives and breathes his entire life through his database. So please welcome to the stage, Brad Korn. Hi, Brad. Hi, Carrie. Hey, there. All right, you're right there. All right. Hey, everybody. I figured out how to get an ROI on your Google Glass. This is it. This is what you get. <laughs> Yeah, you can turn those off now. <laughs> so you told me when I saw you, you were like, this is the one thing I can do with my Google Glass. This, this is it. Conversation piece at Starbucks. It's the best database capturing tool I found with glasses. <laughs> yeah. I'm always so thinking if you about didn't it. have any marketing tips yet, you have one now. <laughs> so Brad and his wife run a team, have over 6,000 people in your database, mm -hmm. close $13 million in the last... 12 months, on track for 99 transactions this year. And really, I mean, you set the goal, you want 100. I think he's pretty close with 99 to be on track. But you really control that spigot. You control exactly how many closings you want at the end of the year with you and Sonia. We really do. I mean, I think if you guys have been to stuff in the past, it's a machine. It is a 100 transaction machine. It just, it's automatic. Well, and, and you and your wife, Sonia, had a transition in your team recently. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, I actually was talking to somebody about it earlier, and uh, it was Ron Armstrong expanding his team. Well, our teams also contract as well. Uh, when the market changed, and I went from having eight people on my team, right now we're down to three people. Mm -hmm. That's me, Sonia, and an admin person. And so you had to jump back into working the database. Yeah. How hard of a transition was that? How much business did you lose because of that? Well, the funny thing is I never left work in the database. Uh, I always worked the database. I always feed it every day. Um, even when I had a team and I focused on them feeding the database, it was me feeding the database every single day, every single day. And I hear that um, Gary issued a challenge to our MAPS coaches. He did. And you all need to hear this because when they issue the challenge to the MAPS coaches, 
It's a challenge to all of our agents. What's yeah. that challenge? Yeah, Tony DeSello in our coaches training, he would tell us that Gary's got a challenge out. And he says, are you guys should have 2,000 people in your database right now and get to 5,000 as soon as possible. Now the challenge is mm -hmm. that if you have 5,000 people in your database, and I wanna clarify that because we're gonna talk a lot about this today and it's the connection. You want 5,000 connections in your database. There is no more roller coaster, and, and I love what Gary says all the time, it's like the market conditions don't matter whether you guys are busy or not. It's how you run your business and how consistent you stay in touch with people, and it's consistent, persistent over time. So people are always buying, and it's trying to find those right people in your database that are buying at that time. Yeah, this, okay, I can get some crazy numbers going here. We all know the national statistic from NAR is that the average person moves every seven years. In fact, you guys have probably felt with the slower market, it might be going to 10, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have 1,000 people in your database and everybody's moving every 10 years, would you guys agree that NAR is pretty accurate on some of these statistics that they put out? They didn't just pull them out of the air, right? So if you have 1,000 people in your database and everybody's moving every 10 years, that's 100 people moving this year. That's 100 people moving next year and 100 people moving the next year and the next year. So how do you know how to find those 100 people? How do you make sure when those 100 people in your database are ready to move this year that you're the guy? They go in my database the minute I meet them. Okay. And I focus on putting five people in my database a day. I mean, this is all stuff we've heard forever. And guys, all I did was grab onto it and say, pages 133 through 148 of The Millionaire Real Estate Agent, I read that section over and over and over and over, and I just started feeding my database every day. Meet five people a day. If you meet five people a day, five days a week, and you actually take two guilt-free days off a week, you will add 1,200 people to your database this year, in the next 12 months. Okay. And if you do it again next year, you'll add another 1,200. So now my 120 sales this year, you guys follow me on the math? 120 this year, mm -hmm. I add 1,200 more people next year because I'm focused on five a day every day. That's what I do during my lead gen. That's now 240 people moving the second year because the second 120 people from the first 1,200 are moving the second year and the next 120 people. So you're, it's building, amazing. That, so you're building that flow. Yeah. Now, a lot of people might be sitting there thinking and listening and saying, gosh, with that many people in it, I need to have a, hire an admin who's just cleaning my database all the time. Do you, do you uh. hand that off to somebody else? Guys, this is probably one of the biggest things we talk about in coaching, and I get it all the time. It's like, I'm gonna hire an admin to come in and clean up my database. Here's the way I want you to look at your database from now on. You own a bank, okay? We, we actually do own banks. We create money. We sell real estate, we create commissions. So picture that you own a bank, and you're gonna call somebody and hire an $8, $9, $10, heck, even $15 an hour help person to come in and you hand them the keys to the vault and you say, can you go back there and clean that vault up for me? It's a mess. We got money laying everywhere. Could you go clean that up? And I'm just I like- I wanna be that cleaning person. Huh? I wanna be that cleaning person. Exactly, and, and you know where that came from is Gary says your database is, capitalize the word is, your business. And so that just made me think, that's the bank vault. Your database is the bank vault. So walk me through what is your system? How do you work your database? What are the steps that you go through as you're working your database? So here's the thing on the database. Almost all of them have the, the missing piece I see a lot of people miss out on is the campaigns and the action plans. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna add 1,200 people to my database this year and next year and next year and next year, how do I keep track of who to call next, whatever? It's so easy to put them on an automatic follow-up plan but really, Carrie, all I do is I go in and I put five people's addresses, phone number, email. That's, that's my main goal. Now, I'm not only putting five people in my database today, guys, but I am making sure I get five addresses, phone numbers, and emails and connect with at least five people a day, and that happens every day. Well, when we were talking um, to prep for this, I loved one of the things you say. You get email, address, or phone first. <laughs> Because the easy way out is email, isn't it? it easy. Yeah. It's so simple to get their address first because once you get their email, you don't need their address. And isn't it easier? It seems like it's so much easier to just do an all email drip campaign. Well, I'll ask you, how's that working for you? Right? We're talking about a 50 to 1 return on your haven't met database versus a 12 to 2. Have you guys ever calculated a 12 to 2 return? 
a 12 to 2 return, that is six to eight times more business than a 50 to 1. So when you put your E-Edge in place and you turned on all your 8 by 8 and 33 touch campaigns, which was awesome, I love, you said our, our company volume went up by like what, 26%? Those who had never been using a campaign, those that started using a campaign, increase of production by 67%. 67%. It should have actually went up 667% mm -hmm. because when you get on a path to a 12 to 2 return, it means for every 12 people, two people are doing business with you. So another thing to be careful on, and I know I'm getting a little techy on the math, is you may look at your database and go, for example, I had 100 people and I sold 50 homes. That's a pretty good return. But if you looked at those 50 homes, I would bet four of them came from those 100 people that were in your database. The other 47 came from everything else we do. Lead generation, bold came to town, I made a lot of calls, um, I had a postcard campaign, sign calls, ad calls. So they're not coming out of the database, we're feeding new all the time. So if, if we're looking at a 50 to one return versus a 12 to two return um, on personal versus non-personal, how many times do you call someone a year? How many times do you talk to someone a year? Well, again, I've learned to follow models, and when Gary says something, actually this came from a mega camp. It was probably like my second mega camp I came to. You have to be at like, back then you had to be at six million in volume or you couldn't come. It was a very elite group. And I'm sitting there listening to him talk about eight by eight and 33 touch for like an hour, or maybe it was even two hours. Okay. I'm sitting there looking around at all you guys going, these are top producers. Why is he talking about this for two hours? Because I'd started doing it the year before. And it really, it's four times a year, minimum calls four times a year. Wow, for every person in your database, in your 6,000 person database. For every person in your database, if, if I set it up on an autopilot, so it just says, let's just say today the eight by eight ends, and I put them on the 33 touch. Okay. My 33 touch has four calls scheduled in it. It's at month three, month six, month nine, and at month 12. Okay. okay now when I originally did, I had one call. I was like, dude, four calls, this is crazy, I can't do that, you know? So I did one call. Well, if you only talk to them once every six months, you won't get the return. Yeah. So I added four in there. How many calls are you making a day? That's, that's even more amazing, okay? I probably make 17, 20, 22 calls a day. Okay. So what I love about this program and, and Make the Phone Ring Again was designed so that if you start feeding your database five people a day and you have this automatic plan, they'll kick these calls out, it will eventually fill up your two hours of lead generation time that for some reason, most of us in this room don't sit down for two hours every day and just okay. pick up the phone and call people. So that's one of the things that you said to me, which I absolutely loved, and talk about this a little bit. Your database has become your accountability partner. Oh, that, my database is my $50,000 a year accountability partner. It, it, it's the leverage between where you are right now and your next hire. If you get your systems in place, guys, this is like having a $50,000 a year accountability partner because from July 1st of 2003, when I started this, to, I'm sorry, January 1st of 2003 to July, 3, July 1st, 2003, I said I was gonna do the eight by eight, didn't do it. On July, I finally said, all right, I'm gonna do it. By the end of the year, I had added $50,000 to my bottom line, trackable money from the database. Just from putting them on a, on a campaign Just by getting and consistent. reaching out and touching. Yeah. Consistent. Yeah. You were, and when we were talking about it, it's, you know, you've got 17 to 20 calls a day, which just from your database is a lot of calls. You were talking about five minutes of research per client before you do it. What are you researching? What do you look at so that you're making those calls productive? Yeah, so th this is kind of fun too, because what I'm doing is this is filling my two hours of lead generation time with these calls. I will give myself up to five minutes to research somebody to find out more information. What are they talking about on Facebook? Here's what I do is I grab their picture off of Facebook or social media, save it to my hard drive and attach it to their record. Because I'm going into the record four calls a year, when that call pops up and I see their face, the fourth time I see their face, I'm like, oh, if I walk past them at the grocery store, I'll actually know who they are. How many of us are walking past our past clients in the grocery store and we don't even acknowledge them? That's scary right there. That it scares. happens all the time. Yeah, and then I went one further and I bolded it and we added four more touches to just, it's a to-do to go find them on social media. So I like what Tony was saying. Okay. I mean, it's getting back to social media and when it says 
so here's, you asked how it works. A dashboard pops up, it tells me how many calls to make, how many to-dos to do, the letters and the emails go out automatically. I don't even touch those. So I just do my calls and do my to-dos. So when it says find them on social media, I go to Google, I Google their name, up pops Facebook, I click on it, oh, we're already friends, I hit the back arrow, I look, there's LinkedIn, I click on it, not friends there, connect with them there. So over the course of a year, I talk to them four times and I connect with them on social media four times okay. on four different sites. And so every time that you're calling them, you're actually feeding more information into their database by doing that quick five Updating, minutes of research. Updating, update, yep, yep. Okay, so that's how you're systematically feeding it and growing it. Yep. Now, talk to me about the different mediums that you do. Do you just phone calls and emails? Is that it? What else do you do? Yeah, here's, here's the biggest thing I figured out in, in our Make the Phone Ring Again class is that the more mediums you can touch, the more, do you guys already sense that I'm like everywhere? They cannot, once you meet me and I get, have a connection with you and I have a conversation, which means I asked you for your address and I don't even have to say, hey, can I put you in my database and follow up with you from now That's on? That's not the script? No, it's like, hey Mike, where are you living now? Oh, I'm over on 7th Street. 7th Street, cool. How many Mikes live on 7th Street in Blue Springs, Missouri? I mean, uh, tax records are right there. I grab his address and off we go. So, and I've got a great script for getting addresses too. You okay, have time for script? that? Yeah, All right, absolutely. so what's the here's, script? guys, this is a big script, so just hear it, and when you master it, it'll work. So when a call comes in, I, you get over the first hump of they called off the sign or whatever. I say, you know, do you want to buy a house, Terry? Maybe, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I mean, you're just starting to look. Maybe. Would you like to get a good deal? Well, God, yeah. Yeah, and if we could find your dream home and get a steal of a deal, that'd be awesome, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so what you're doing is you're looking at all the leftovers by calling on that ad or driving by that house or looking on the website. The websites are 24 to 48 hours out a day. Okay, well, I, I can, like leftovers. They're yeah, yucky. Yeah, what I can do is put you on my instant notification program. When I mean instant, I mean I'll send you an email, and if you're leaving for your lunch break at noon and I, you get an email from me at 11, you drive by that house, you'll literally be one of the first people in town to see it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and print off a list of all those leftovers. Where would I mail those to? Oh, gosh, here's my address. Okay, Brooklyn great. And, and now if I see a steal, where would I call you? What's the best number to reach you at? Oh, well, call my cell. I mean, reach me immediately, please. Okay, great. And do you check email? Yeah, of course. How about if I just email all this okay. stuff to you? Okay, Sweet. Awesome. Thanks. I love scripts. I feel like I just gave it all away. <laughs> you gave it all away. <laughs> well, and, and with your scripts, you have a reconnect plan. How do oh. you reconnect with those people that are in your database? Walk me through the reconnect plan. I'm so glad I have time to give this to you guys as a gift because it's a four simple step plan that will really get you hooked on campaigns and action plans. Are you ready? Yes. You want it? Yes. Okay, I can't see you. Um, <clears throat> okay, it's four steps. Go into your database and go into the campaigns and action plans. You want to create a letter that just says, hey, I was thinking of you today. I apologize for not staying in touch. I'm going to call you in the next few days. I tell the system on day zero this plan starts. I want this letter to print, and I'll put it in an envelope and mail it. Then three days later, oh, P.S., I'm going to call you in the next few days to catch up. I want to see how you're doing. Then the net three days later, a call pops up on my database and it says, call this person on the reconnect call. So I pick up the phone and call him. Hey, it's Brad. I apologize for not staying in touch. I just wanted to connect. How's the kids doing? How's this? How's that? Right? And then the, the last item on day three is also a to-do to write a handwritten note, to drop him a note in the mail without, and Diana says it all the time, without the words I, me, or my. Write it about them. Write it about that conversation. And then the fourth step is to start the next plan. You've got to have that in anything automated. The more you automate things, the more chances you're going to mess something up. Yep. So the one thing I will tell you on that, and I'm going to give you permission just this one time, and I hope Tony doesn't get upset with me, but the one time on your reconnect plan, try not talking about real estate. Make it about them, and that is a little game I had to play with myself okay. to pick up the phone and actually call people. If I knew I didn't have to sell them on something, I'd just call them and connect. Now, you better, everything after that better be headline, marketing, call to action, branding, everything. Your handwritten that. note could mention that. Handwritten note is just a Absolutely. blank handwritten note, no okay. business card, no nothing. It's about them. Okay, great plan. Yeah. Just great plan to take back with you? All right. You're welcome. Well, thank you, Brad. You bet. Um, wildly important for us to build and continue to grow that database that grows our business and sustains has built your business incredibly well. Consistent, Thank you so much. persistent over time, guys. Just stay okay. with it. Thank consistent, you, Carrie. Really? Consistent, really? Consistent. Persistent. Consistent. And persistent. And persistent. Thank you so much, you Brad. Betcha. Round of applause for Brad.
All right, so the memory jogger list is just one of the items that we cover in this 16-week course. That's 16 one-hour calls. Over a four-month period, you're going to learn the systems to basically master your database. Now, I don't know if you've heard of the book Outliers. In Outliers, they talk about 10,000 hours to master something. This course includes that 10,000 hours of database mastery and really, truly how to move your business to a 12 to 2 return. Talk about the one thing. You know, Gary talks about focusing on what your one thing is. Well, your one thing really is lead generation at some point. You can't skip that one thing. It is what drives your business. It's the three L's of the millionaire real estate agent, leads, listings, and leverage. So we're going to cover that leads and the listings and how to get a 12 to 2 return. So basically in this course real quick, just to summarize it, you're basically learning three different systems. The first one, we're going to actually reconnect with your database with four simple steps to show you how to have people waiting for your phone call just to get reconnected. You don't even have to talk about real estate, really. This is just a reconnection point. But then the next two steps are going to be a real true eight by eight where you can really brand yourself and buy the brain cells for real estate, that real estate spot. And then the second part is the 33 touch. And by the time you go through the first two, setting up the four simple steps and the eight by eight, the 33 touch is going to be no problem for you at all. It's so simple to set up and automate. Guys, we're going to automate the personal touch. So during this 16 week course, you're going to get a ton of information. More importantly, you're going to get the implementation process to get it all in place. You're going to implement these plans as we go through the 16 weeks and you won't even realize you did it. It'll